hello you are welcome to my youtube channel this is iniski designs and you are welcome to this video tutorial in this tutorial i'll be showing you a very simple process to creating the glass morphism effect in less than five minutes in less than five minutes i will show you how to create the glass morphism effect with just your pixel app app okay so without further ado let's get right into the video Alright, so once again, you are welcome to this tutorial where you will be learning how to create the glass morphism effect in less than 5 minutes. Now, if you are new to this channel or if you are not subscribed to this channel, please do well and smash the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. This is a video that you are going to like. This is a tutorial that you are going to definitely like. So, do well to hit the like button and, and also smash the subscribe button. Also, turn on your notification bell so that whenever i drop my next content youtube will alert you that i've dropped a content so that you will easily get notified whenever i drop new content okay so yeah let's go right into what we have now one thing about one thing about glass movism effect is that you need to be working on a design before or whatever you are whatever you want to use it for like you need to start working on it first and one thing you need to know about the glass movism effect also is that you need to know how to blow and if you don't know how to create blow if you don't know how to blow your background blow your image images blow your icons then just check the description box below you are going to see a link to you are going to see a link to a video on to some videos on how you can blow your icons on how to create blow effect okay so you need to know how to blow but then i will also be showing how to blow in this tutorial okay so first of all let me just enable this i'll be using this to show you how to create the how to create sorry how to create the glass morphism effect okay so meanwhile you can use your background you can use whatever you are using like maybe you are creating a design with pixel app for example and maybe you you not you get the point where but you want to use the glass morphism effect it is still applicable okay but then for the sake of this tutorial i just want to use this simple background this simple image to explain what i want you to know and how to create the glass movism effect okay so first off i'm just going to increase the size i'm just going to increase the size now all this may not be necessary when you want to create your own but then i just i, I just need to do that in my own all right so then i already have my background i'm assuming that this is my background now yours definitely will be different from this okay so i'm just assuming that this is my background now the next thing i'm going to do now is to create a shape if you want to create the glass movism effect you cannot create it without a shape okay without a shape all right without a shape you cannot create the glass movism effect so you will need a shape it may be circle it may be circle it may be square it may be rectangle it may be star whatever shape it is it may even be a shape that you create created yourself with the bz2 or with the max2 by the way there's a series going on and um yeah the bts series the bz2 series and if you've not been following then you may just check the description box below you are going to see the link to the episode my next upload is going to be um a continuation of the series okay so yeah let's continue so you will need a shape to be able to create your glass morphism effect all right don't forget you want to create it under five minutes and we are going to do this real quick it's very simple okay so for the sake of this tutorial let me just use a square shape and let me curve the edges yeah i just want to curve the edges i just like doing that then position it very well you may not need to position it very well but i just want to position it very i just want to position my own very well all right so this is what i've got now the next thing i'm going to do now is to hide this please follow me carefully I, i'm hiding the shape now then i'm going to save this image like this please don't adjust anything just save it don't adjust the size just save it okay then i'm going to hide the image and now enable my shape again you can't see it because the color of the shape is white and the color of my background is white so i'm just going to change the color of my background to black so that you can see what i'm showing you look at it all right but then what i want to do now is to make the background transparent now please follow me carefully if you don't get any part of this tutorial you can still watch it again and even watch it at a um at a low speed okay at a slower speed 
all right so this is what i've got this is the shape and the background is not transparent so i'm just going to save it tap on this click on save as image and i'm going to save as ultra then save it all right so i've saved my background and i've saved the image okay i've saved the shape rather so i'm just going to hide the two i'm going to add it to now the next thing is to go and blow your images okay the next thing is to go and blow your the next thing is to go and blow that background like blow that background okay now if you don't know how to blow just check in the description box below you are going to see a tutorial on different ways to blow images okay all right so i've blown my image down so here's the image all right so this is my image now i've blurred the image now note something don't adjust the size please follow me carefully at this point don't adjust the size and you will only blur your background like it depends on whatever you are doing it depends on whatever you are doing or the kind of depends on the background on which you want to create the um the glass morphism okay so also you have to be careful with your blurring the intensity should not be too much it depends on well it can be too much it's still going to work it depends on what you want actually so with constant practice you will understand this better and you will be able to use them um based on your preferences all right so this is what i've got just um yes just increase the size or don't even bother just leave it like this let's um close it and look at i've enabled this but don't move this don't move this background that you save don't even tamper with it again let me just lock it all right so this is it then the next thing i'm going to do now is to import that shape that sh this particular shape look at this shape just click on it and here is it now don't adjust the size don't tamper with anything here just click on mark then also don't adjust the size just come to relative position look at um sorry relative size look at relative size tap on relative size and increase it increase it then mark it then yes so this is it this is what we've got then come to texture click on texture then click on this image that you blow this background that you blow tap on it then mark it then this is what we've got can you see what i'm showing you so we've been able to create our our glass movies in effect look at it you see that let me let me remove this so that you will see what i'm showing you look at you see that you see how perfect it is okay so with this we've been able to create our glass morphism now our transparent um or yeah how transparent this glass would be depends on the intensity of the blur okay how transparent this glass morphism this shape is going to be will be dependent on how um intense how intense the blur is so that's why you have to be very careful okay depending on what you want all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to tap on the shape then come to come to inner shadow no inner shadow click on inner shadow oh sorry come to stroke stroke yeah click on stroke enable stroke and yeah let it be white and from here you can just you see that you see it giving that glass vibe or instead or instead you can just disable the stroke then come to inner shadow enable inner shadow then click on white all right okay so yeah you've got what you want so you can also use inner shadow but for inner shadow now you can you have to select white color so it depends on what you want and you can also use your stroke yeah you can also enable your stroke all right so this is just a simple way to create the glass morphism effect let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comment section and don't forget to like don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed and i'm going to see you in my next tutorial